Good afternoon, Randy Wood, Vice President of Sales and Marketing, uh, Irrigation Business for the Americas and Australia, New Zealand. 2012 was really a, a watershed year for, for all of the pivot manufacturers here in Nebraska and, and across the U.S. We had uh, unprecedented demand driven by uh, uh, increasing land values, high commodity prices, and obviously the, the drought. Um, this year, I, I think so far that the season is off to uh, a much slower start. We had a lot of early planting last year, and if you look at the USDA data, we're seeing later planting this year. We're seeing uh, some markets where it's been uh, too wet to get in the fields, and then some where it's been just right. I think that's normal, but overall, we're seeing uh, delays in planting. And the, uh, the USDA release today, I think, said that corn planting is up to 91%, and the five-year average is 95%. So I think we, we've caught up a lot, but it's, it's, we, we don't know yet how that's going to impact yield at the, uh, at the end of the season. So I think the, the market this year, it, it's still too early uh, to tell. Uh, how uh, how much uh, of an increase or decrease we're going to see, I think, overall, when you look at the, the long-term benefits of mechanized irrigation and, and center pivots uh, with regard to, to risk mitigation, yield protection, uh, our drivers are still very, very strong. And, and the only negative impact of the, uh, of the ag market right now is, is going to be a declining farm income due to lowering commodity prices, higher input costs. Uh, but overall, I think there's uh, just very, very strong indicators for our business. So we may not see a, a top like we did last year because a lot of those drivers aren't going to be as strong or as, as powerful as they were uh, in 2012. Uh, I still think uh, addressing the, the long-term benefits of, of center pivot irrigation and what it can do for farmers still means a uh, very, uh, very good industry. Sure. I think the, the customer uh, in general is, is very... Uh, comfortable with technology adoption in agriculture, and it, it's everything from verberate seeding, verberate spraying, uh, auto guidance certainly, and, and tractors and combines, and I think irrigation has really over the last uh, several years with products like our field net, uh, wireless remote control uh, and monitoring solution has really introduced different levels of technology to irrigation, and, and it's not just big steel uh, hardware rolling around the field anymore. We, we've really, I think, elevated the, uh, the innovation, the smarts, and, and the efficiency of those machines with technology. And I think customers are very thirsty uh, and have a, have a very strong appetite for technology and, and irrigation. And something like FieldNet can really change the way a farmer operates. And it changes the, the people in their business. It, it changes their risk profile in, in their business. So FieldNet certainly uh, allowing customers to monitor and control pivots remotely instead of driving out to control and, and watch them uh, certainly has changed things. And I think we're going to see that uh, adoption uh, increase. Uh, Verberate drives on pumps that provide uh, higher efficiency, lower operating costs. We see a uh, a lot of penetration increases there, and our Watertronics uh, division has done a fantastic job identifying agricultural products that fit the market, that integrate with our pivots to give a customer a complete control of that entire water delivery cycle. Uh, I think we're going to see a, a lot more adoption there. And then uh, products like Verberate Irrigation that allows a customer to address the variability down to the individual sprinkler in a field for a full 100 and 360 degrees of that pivot really allows them to, to dial in an application of water or chemicals or fertilizers, and that ultimately saves money, increases the top line, and, and really allows a grower to enhance his profitability while protecting the environment as well.